Here we are, day two, and uh, this brownish, watery emulsion is some of what we pulled out of our fuel tank of this truck, and we tried, we attempted to filter this once with another filter cart with just a coalescer separator, and we're still having problems with the fuel quality and the truck not running right. We did a test earlier today, and we really cleaned up the haziness of this fuel using Adipolcus clay. Strange discoloration. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a gravity test uh, through this funnel of Adipolcus clay and uh, see what the effluent's like. See if we get any color change. After running the ultra low sulfur diesel sample gravity fed through the Adipolcus clay, we have an appreciable difference, very noticeable difference in clarity. We clarified it pretty well. So now we're using an old school two stage filter cart, which, if anybody wants one, we can build you one and this cart takes two larger 718 style filter elements and we have a clay in the first stage and in the second stage we have a particulate and water absorbing uh, which will help deal with any uh, remaining free water so let's kick it on 220 explosion proof we're running diesel, that's not a concern, but this was one that was designed, built for use in a refinery. Well, let's see what it looks like. Alright, so you can see a difference now. We're really getting a much better result. And the suction to the left and the return to this two-stage filter cart doing the job it was intended to do. We're going to let this run for a couple hours. Probably about 30 gallons of fuel. We'll go from there. And then this is our final sample. This is the quality of the diesel now after running it, uh, recirking just on a kidney loop, the fuel tank, several hours through two-stage filtration, utilizing as the first stage the Adipolcus clay, and the second stage a combination particulate and water absorbent media, just to capture any remaining free water. The initial the haziness due to the water content to the final.